Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So this is part two of my what's in my bag video and this is actually going to be a handbag switch video. So I just showed what is in my coach reversible tote here and I'm going to be switching over to a different bag just to mix things up. And the reason why I split this into two videos is because I hardly see any videos about this bag. But I'm hoping that this video will be helpful for anyone who is interested in this bag. And that would be the Print Prussian Classic Tote. So this tote bag is from the Classic Collection on the Print Prussian website. And I got this recently when they had their spring sale going on where everything was 40% off. And I thought that was an amazing deal and I've always been curious about this bag. So I decided to go ahead and give it a try. And here you can already see how floppy it is without a purse organizer. This is faux leather, so this isn't real leather, but it feels super duper soft. I love how it feels and it does have a pebble texture to it compared to the coach bag, which is real leather. I think you can see a difference. The pebbled leather on the coach feels softer, shinier, a bit more slick. So you can see the shine. On the light here, it does have some really nice patina from me just using this every day and I don't really baby this coach camera bag. And it's retained its structure pretty well for how I use it. I'm super duper rough on this bag. And then the faux leather material on the classic tote, it's a lot more matte. And the feel of the faux leather, I wouldn't say it's chalky, but it definitely feels drier than real leather. It's hard to explain, but you can clearly tell that this isn't real leather. That does not bother me. I don't mind using faux leather products. I just buy whatever fits my needs or whatever interests me. So let's go ahead and switch to this bag. I'm gonna go ahead and set aside my coach tote here. She has served me well, but she's going to be resting for now. All right, so let's get into this bag. And since this is super floppy, I'm going to be putting a purse organizer in this bag. And I'm going to try and use the same one that I was using in my coach bag. So first I'm going to put my Velcro pouch back in here. Let me see if I can do this. Like if you can see how I'm sitting right now, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm like hunched over. It's super awkward. <laughs> but I hope I am in frame. So I'm going to go ahead and add my purse organizer here. And then I just like to put my finger into the corner of the bag just to make sure it's really aligned with my purse organizer. So here it is on the inside. I think it fits well enough and it already has so much structure already compared to before. So now you can see that it's standing up on its own and having a purse organizer in this tote definitely elevates the look for me. So let's just go ahead and inspect the inside. There is this pocket here on the inside just a small pocket here. It's not a flap, so it doesn't flap up. But my phone would most likely go in there. So I suppose this is the front of the bag, right? Let me try to back up a little bit so you can see this bag better. All right, so I hope that helped. As you can see, that is what the bag is looking like right now. And I think once I put my things in here, it's gonna look more stuffed and structured. So let's just go ahead and do that. I'm going to be putting my essentials back in my camera bag here which if you watched my previous video you would see that it's my notebook my wallet and my keys all right so all of my essentials are in my camera bag now so i'm gonna go ahead and slip it into my purse organizer here so that's what it's looking like so the camera bag does blend in with my purse organizer. I mentioned in my previous video that I wish I had gotten a lighter colored organizer, but this is what I have. So I'm just gonna keep using what I have. I do have the strap of the camera bag in here. So if I need to grab this real quick, I can always pull on this and that'll loosen up the camera bag a little and then I can see it more clearly. All right, and the next I'm going to <laughs> reorganize my makeup. Everything's still hanging out here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put it back in my makeup bag. All right, there you go. So let's put that in here. All right, and then next, I'm gonna grab my journal and my A5 folder. 
All right, and then my hand sanitizer goes in this small pocket. My power bank. Then my little tech baggie here. Just goes there. And then my purse hook. I think I'll put it next to my makeup bag so I don't forget. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and stash my snacks in that same pocket. It is a little bit different every time I switch bags where I put things just to make it work because every bag is different. And then my pack of wipes. I think I'll just stash that along with my folder here. So that's how it's looking so far. And then I still have my water bottle left. And I have some extra space in here in my purse organizer. I'm trying my best to show you guys. So this is why I say that black purse organizers tend to be super hard to see. So that's just another reason why you should choose a lighter colored organizer. I still have my purse pen here. I'm just gonna clip it onto my tote organizer. And then again, my phone is just gonna go in this pocket here. All right, so let's close her up. There she is. She's looking way more structured. I don't mind if the straps get floppy as long as the bottom stays structured so that it can stand up on its own. But this feels super soft, even with everything that I have stuffed in it. How cute is this? This bag has D-rings on the side, by the way. So I think this would be a really good diaper bag too because you can buy one of those stroller strap attachments to this bag and then you can hang it onto your stroller handles and then you don't have to worry about lugging that around when you're with your baby. And this thing does come with a crossbody strap, which I forgot to take out. So give me a second. All right, so here we go. Here's the crossbody strap. I don't plan on using this with my tote bag because I just like to use the handles here because I like to sling my tote onto my shoulders while I'm holding my son or just trying to get inside wherever we need to be. Let's go ahead and use the crossbody though so we can see what it looks like. So here's what it looks like with the crossbody strap. It is adjustable. So you can make this as long or as short as you need to. So this can act as a secondary tote handle if you need. It seems to handle the weight nicely, which is good. My bags do tend to be quite heavy because of all the things that I put in it. But I think this tote could be a really good school bag or work bag if you choose the black one. So let me go ahead and take out the crossbody strap. I'm just going to set these aside because again, I don't plan on using it. All right, so I do have one more thing that I want to add to this bag. I have this little twilly scarf here and I'm just gonna go ahead and tie a cute little bow on this side. And I'm not the best at tying bows, so please bear with me. <laughs> so first you just wanna make a square knot like you would when you're tying your shoelaces. And then you wanna pick one end of the ribbon, make a little loop like that. And then take the other end of the ribbon, put it over your little loop. And then you're gonna make this little hole here. I don't know if you can see, but that's where you want to put the end of this ribbon through. So I'm gonna try to do it slowly for you. So loop, this tail goes over and then put it through the hole here and then pull and then there you go. And then you can actually still adjust this ribbon to get it to the look that you like. So you can slowly pull on the tail here and it'll loosen up the ribbon here and that'll give you just enough room to adjust the bow so you can flatten out the middle part here. So just flatten out the creases and then you can pull on these loops here at the top to tighten up the bow again. And then you can pull on the tails again to adjust it a little bit more. And I like to do that until the bow looks nice and flat up here. So it does take a bit of adjustment, at least for me. Again, I'm not very good at this, so it's a bit of trial and error for me. All right, I think that is good enough. All right, there you go. How cute is that? That is so adorable. <laughs> Let me just fix up the strap here. There you go. 
Okay, so the bag is still very floppy, but I don't mind that. I do love how slouchy the top is. I think it does provide a little bit of contrast compared to the structured bottom here, thanks to my purse organizer. And this blue ribbon is just so cute. It adds a really nice kind of summery touch to this bag. So I think this bag is going to take me all the way through summer and I'm super excited about that. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. This is Baba Notes and I'll see you next time. Bye!